so wonderful in your dress. I really need to start by thanking every one of you that are here today. Some of you have come a long way, some not so much. But all of you that have travelled in the knowledge that you're going to have to pay £6 for a vodka soda, that is commitment and we really do appreciate it. It's really humbling to look around the room and see so many people that are important to Laura and I. Two families coming together, friends old and new. On behalf of me and my wife, I would like to thank you. I would like, like to thank you all for making this day so special for us both. I want you to know it's enough for me. It's all that you are is all that I'll ever need. So in love. So in love. So in love. So in love. A massive thank you firstly to Dave, Julie and Rick. They have contributed significantly towards today's proceedings and it really wouldn't be possible to have got this together without their help. And thank you also for raising such a strong-minded, independent, willful, <laughs> headstrong, persistent, determined, relentless, non-stop, <laughs> insistent, unstoppable, tenacious and the most beautiful daughter. I promise I will take very good care of it. Should this be the last thing I see? I want you to know it's enough for me. So that you are so that I love you. So in love. So in love. So in love. I'd like to say a few words about Laura, who looks beautiful today. Uh, born in Wellington City and grew up in Hatfield. She was a beautiful toddler, always on the go, endless energy and a bit naughty. <laughs> One time she decided to put a battery up her nose and ended up in hospital where they retrieved it. Hence her nickname was Ever Ready Laura and she was fully charged. <laughs> I first met Jack at Rebecca's uh, birthday party and was under the impression he was a hairdresser with his sharp dress sense and slick back Essex style hair. Found out later he was a recruitment consultant and got to know him very well and liked him. I think they are well suited and do love each other and I would like to welcome Jack into the family. Welcome Jack. Now is probably a good point to move on to the bridesmaids, which I'm sure you will all agree look beautiful today. <laughs> I know how important you all are to Laura and how much she appreciates every one of you individually. You've all been invaluable to her over the last few months in the run up to the wedding and more importantly, the hen party to Ibiza. So thank you all for giving her the best send off and making sure she came home in one piece. <laughs> Please all raise grass to the bridesmaids. So Laura, where do I start? It's important for everyone here to know that Laura isn't just the best wife I could possibly ask for. She's also the most phenomenal mother to our beautiful boy, Archie. <laughs> Who we were lucky enough to have been gifted with two years ago. Laura, you're absolutely stunning today. You have always been the most incredibly beautiful lady in the room and I feel utterly privileged that I get to spend the rest of my life with you and I love you so, so much. Oh. <laughs> 
Over the, over the past four weeks or so, people have asked me, are you nervous? And hand on heart, my answer is no. Not one point have I questioned my future with Laura, and I can honestly say, here today, my life would not be complete without her. She's always been there for me and has never once let me down. Well, apart from the time she crashed the car into the station we rolled on. <laughs> and the general acts of cleanliness that seem to cost me a small fortune. <laughs> or us, I should say now. fulfillment and love. Their relationship has been enriched by the presence of their son Archie, whom we all welcome here today. Better than the attention. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's not. Uh... Okay, can you just yeah. I, Jack William Stroud. I, Jack William Stroud. Take you, Laura Jane O'Reilly. Take you, Laura Jane O'Reilly. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And Jack, do you promise to be loving, faithful, and care for her throughout your married life together? I do. Mm -hmm. I, Laura Jane O'Reilly. I, Laura Jane O'Reilly. Take you, Jack William Stroud. Take you, Jack William Stroud. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And do you, Laura, promise to be loving and faithful and care for him throughout your married life together? I do. Laura has made today happen, she's planned everything. My only real input has been the occasional how much and do we really need that? <laughs> Hats off to her, it's been brilliant so far, so far and I'm sure given the amount of alcohol I can see him being consumed, it will only get better. <laughs> So to summarise, as Barry couldn't have really helped me with this part, <laughs> Laura, you are a brilliant mother, best friend, you make me laugh and you've never made me cry, and I can't wait to cry with you. So please all join me in raising a glass to my wonderful new wife, Laura. <laughs> I give you this ring. As a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. And as a lasting reminder. And as a lasting reminder. Of the vows we have made here today. Of the vows we have made here today. So Jack, I give you this ring. Say it. Jack, I give you this ring. <laughs> as a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. And as a lasting reminder. And as a lasting reminder <laughs> of the vows we have made here today. Of the vows we've made here today. Jack and Laura do the first dance. So the thing is now they're gonna struggle for two. You've been so good to me. 
He's had many friendship groups over his life. Now he's got one true best friend, his trouble and strife. They're made for each other, the perfect match. And mate, what a catch. Um, and even though she's always scratching the motor, <laughs> you in turn are losing your hair and turning into a bloater. <laughs> she irons, cooks, cleans and looks after him. She counts herself lucky if he takes out the bin. <laughs> They've also produced a smashing little lad, the one thing he doesn't treat as a fad. All jokes aside, you two are the perfect couple, Laura steering the ship and Jack maintaining his designer stubble. <laughs> I wish you all of life's good fortune and fates. Um, a cheers to you both, forever soulmates.